Hello everyone. Today I want to explain what's adsorbed water and hygroscopic water. For example, we have this soil sample. We know that the surface of loose soil particles carry a net negative charge. Also, water contains cations which has a positive charge, such as sodium, manganese, hydrogen, and so on. This two different charge creates an electric field, which has a constant force, called electrostatic force. And this electrostatic force is larger as the soil is finer. Whenever the soil particle is larger, the negative charge will be less. For example, the soil sample get wet by the rain and get cations. Or maybe wet by the river or by underground water movement. Now, our sample got cations. If we look in detail, you see the sample in saturation state. As you see, water uh, fills the pores between the soil particle. Now, Maybe the soil sample heated by the sun and a part of water evaporate. Or maybe the water joined to groundwater table. Or maybe a part of water absorbed by the plant roots. If we look in detail, still a part of water stick it strongly around the soil particles. Let us see why this phenomenon is happen. If we look in detail, we see that the water molecules act as a bar magnet with positive and negative charges in two ends. Stick it around the soil particle with negative charge. Let us see how adsorbed water arrange it around the soil particle. The adsorbed water arrange it around the soil particle or stick it in two layers. Let us define both of these two layers and how these two layers happen. Depending on the force of electrostatic adhesion on the particle surface, the adsorbed water can be divided in two strongly adsorbed water and loosely adsorbed water. What is the strongly adsorbed water? The strongly adsorbed water is called hygroscopic moisture, means the first layer around the soil particle. And the loosely adsorbed water is known as a film moisture, the second layer. Let us define the properties of these two layers. First, hygroscopic moisture film properties. The hygroscopic moisture film is known to be bound or attached rigidly to the soil particle with an immense physical pressure up to about 10,000 atmosphere. This hygroscopic soil moisture film is density similar to solid state with high density of 2 gram per cubic centimeter. We know that the density of normal water is 1. It has a large viscosity and elasticity. Hygroscopic moisture is not in union with the groundwater. Therefore, it does not take part in the fluctuation of groundwater table and doesn't transmit hydrostatic pressure. Also, the hygroscopic water can be removed by the gravitational force or can be adsorbed by plant roots. So, it must be uh, removed by drying the soil particle at 105 degrees Celsius, resulting as aqueous vapor. That was the properties of hygroscopic moisture film. Let us describe film moisture properties. The second layer around the soil particle. The second layer of water around the soil particle. It is slightly away from the particle as a whole or film upon the layer of the hygroscopic moisture film. It is composite of the main part of the water film. Its density is the same as the free water but with large viscosity. Film moisture does not transmit externally applied hydrostatic pressure nor can be affected by gravity. This kind of moisture translocates very slowly. It moves in the form of a liquid film from points of higher potentials, heat or electric, to lower ones, from greater concentrations to smaller ones, and from points of thicker films to the thinner films, as you see in the image. Thank you for your attention. That's all. I hope it can be helpful. Have a nice time.